Hello. So today we are going to be talking about body oils and body creams. Specifically, I guess some luxury inspired by fragrances. So we're going to be talking about Arena fragrances. I remember seeing their stuff maybe like a year, year and a half ago, and I just never pulled the trigger on it. And, you know, I decided to take one of my YouTube checks <laughs> to check them out. So I bought a few of their body oils and their body creams. And I'm going to tell you if they actually do smell like the fragrances that they are inspired by. And how they actually feel but if you're new here hey i'm chi chi and i talk about all things lavish but logical so if that's your sort of thing go ahead and subscribe make some friends in the comment section and follow me on instagram and tiktok i ain't gonna lie to you i was a little bit hesitant on ordering from them because i have heard stories about the shipping being a little bit delayed now i never have an issue with a long shipping and processing time as long as i know up front like okay it's gonna take a, a while so i ordered these during a Memorial Day sale. So I automatically was like, all right, whatever their shipping time is, add a couple of extra days because it's a holiday and it's a sale. So I was like, prepared. I made that purchase. Let me let me do a little bit of a timeline because they're we gonna have to run this back. I ordered it May 24th and arrived June 6th. So I thought that was a pretty good um turnaround time given the stories that I have heard. So I was like, okay, maybe they got their stuff together. I'm gonna get back to the whole shipping thing in a little bit, but um, everything was beautifully packaged. I was like, okay, we, we cool, cool, cool. So let's get into these scents, right? So I picked a few scents that I knew I liked in a couple that I necessarily didn't have full bottles. So the first scent I picked up was Tropical Island. And this is supposed to be inspired by Greenwich Village. Now this body oil, she thick, <laughs> she thick, okay? So I was a little bit nervous about that cause I was like, uh, I, I don't want it to feel like, you know, cooking oil on my skin. However, she really does soak into my skin as I put it on. And you can see it's got a really, really nice shine to it. I was, I was pleasantly surprised by it. But more so than that, it's the softness of my skin. Like when I touched my skin, when I first put it on, I was like, hold on now. Y'all, y'all might have did something with this. So I just like how, I kind of did like, like this, the slippiness that it does have. I really enjoyed it. Now, when it came to the scent of this, I I don't think they smell alike, specifically. They, these two, in my to my nose, they they don't smell alike. This is probably a seventy percent um, match for Greenwich Village. So I was like, okay, <laughs> she's getting a little nervous here. And so I was like, Let, let's move on to something else. So the next one I had was Warm Angel. And this one was inspired by Killian uh, Angel's share. So with this one, honestly, I haven't used it. I ain't going front. I haven't used it. I think I was just waiting for fall because I was literally dead of summer. So I was like, I'm not going to try this. So I did not try this one out. But just smelling it on my hand, this one is about 80. Yeah, it's 80. I do like the warmth of it. It's really, really nice. It's going to be fantastic under Angel Share, 1000%. It doesn't quite smell like it. I'll give it 85 yeah, 85, but I already know it's going to layer really, really nicely. I, I just wanted to hold on to, to that one because I was like, I really, I just really, really want to wait until fall and fall is coming up. But um, yeah, I was like, okay, we can work with that one. So the next one I got 
was um, Iris Dream, and this is inspired by Donna Born in Roma. You guys know I don't have the full size version of this. So with this particular fragrance, let me put a little here, you definitely get like an iris in here. So I was like, eh, is this the same joint? Close, but not all the way. As it dries down, that's when a lot of these actually start smelling alike. But I really wanted to get this one because it, I was like, I don't have Donna Born Aroma. I've always been on the fence about it. But as of late, I really have been wanting to layer it with other things and I have been enjoying them. This is about 90. I was like, okay, okay, okay. But the star of the show, the one that I really, really wanted was Golden Amber. Golden Amber is supposed to be a dupe. I don't like to say dupe anymore. This is inspired by MFK Gentle Fluidity Gold. Now this one, I can wholeheartedly say they, they, they got this one, they got this one. I don't wanna put this one on, but this is the one that I use the most. And of course, this is the one with the crack lid, right? But I ended up getting their body cream in the um, same scent and she thick. This cream, thick. So knowing that you have to really like work this in. I don't wanna take too much. I just wanna show y'all kind of how it looks. But you, you, and plus my skin is not like freshly out the shower. But you have to work it in just a tiny bit but nothing like vigorous on the skin. This one, I feel like the the oil is 100%. This one knocks it back down to like 75. Yeah, 75. But this is the sheen of my skin when I do have the body cream on. So the body cream, it's nice. It Feels great on the skin, nice and thick. This is gonna be great for winter time. I think it's lovely, but I don't feel like the fragrance is as hard hitting. It this does this don't smell like uh gentle fluid at all. But this freaking oil, this oil does. And when I tell you I wore this to bed. I woke up the next day and I could still smell it. I tried the body cream on its own, I tried the body oil on its own, and I tried both mixed together. Mixed together, all of it feels so good, so good. But I have to say that if I were going to choose between the uh, body cream and the body oil, 1000% go with the body oil because it's just, it's really, really, really nice. Like my skin just feels very nice and soft and supple. And I I remember I was in bed and I was just kind of doing this. And I was like, I usually don't do that with body oils. So it, it was kind of nice to just sit there and rub my skin. But you could see now that the uh, Tribeca one, Tribeca, uh, Greenwich Village kind of settled down. You get a really nice sheen to the skin. Nothing too crazy. Y'all know I'm not like a glittery, shimmery type of person. I like a nice little sheen. But as far as using these as prim primers, basically, bases for your fragrances, I really do like a lot of them. Uh, to be honest, it didn't have to be an exact dupe as long as the the power was there. And when I tell you when I woke up, I can still smell it. I can still smell it on my sheets. So I was just like, oh, we got a little something here. Like they, they did that. So they have a lot of inspired fragrances. They have Delina, they have Burberry Her, they have um, Escapade Gourmand, they have um, Bianco Latte, 
I know those two have been like more of the recent talks around Arena. So it's it, it's nice. Okay, it is definitely nice, especially if you want your your fragrances to just cling on to your skin. 1000% if you're looking for that, you 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 can look into these because I feel like it's more of a thicker consistency without being greasy i think it just holds on a lot better to the skin and sinks on and creates a barrier on your skin where it's just like all right i see what y'all doing over here so let's get back to the shipping right and this is just a little bit extended story time so my golden amber had a crack in this particular um top so i immediately emailed them and I was like, hey, is it crack? Can you just send me out a replacement pump? I ain't even asked for like a whole bottle. I was just like, send the pictures, just, just give me a pump. Let's see how we can resolve this. So I think they got back to me three days. Tracking number, we apologize, here you go. That email I got was June 11th, mind you. I got the order June 6th. I did not get this pump until July 20th. Now, I was a little shocked by that because I was like, okay, they, they're on it. Like, cool. And it, I sent out a follow-up email saying like, hey, um, I was supposed to get a replacement piece. I never got it. So I ended up getting the replacement piece after I um, emailed them. I think in the shipping, the tracking number was all the same. So somebody just must have been like, oops, I forgot. Let's throw this in the, the mail. But what I did not expect is it to just be like raw dogged in, in the plastic. So it, it, like I... I don't know how I feel about this just sitting naked <laughs> in the in the bag. So I've just kept this this crack cap. But um overall I do feel like they are good. They are expensive, but the fragrances last. And that's the most important part. Are they one-to-one -one, like exact copies? No. It's definitely inspired. But putting on the fragrance on top of some of these just lets it hold on a little bit longer. And that's what I'm looking for. Like you could have the essence of it. It didn't need to be one to one exact. But I have noticed that when I do wear some of these fragrances, with the exception of Angel Share, it does last a little bit longer, especially that Tribeca. That one isn't nearly as close to the original but I find that Tribeca I'm still getting the, those beautiful wafts and it just added just a little bit a little bit more longevity so do I recommend them if you got a couple of extra dollars and you just want to you know step it up a little bit you might not want to buy the actual fragrances okay understandable that's cool but if you have an issue, you might have to wait a, a little bit. But yeah, I, I think I think I personally would recommend them because the fragrances themselves, it it is. I just like how long they last. That's honestly that's what it is. I just like how long it lasts. But let me know if you've tried them before. Check out some of my other videos, and I'll catch you in the next one.